the Christmas music of Mannheim Steamroller by Chip Davis.
and gentlemen, Grammy award-winning composer, Chip Davis. Awesome. Hi there. I'd say it's really great to be back. This is, uh, makes our 14th year now that we've been playing this show here. Oh, wow. That's all because of all of you. You keep coming back, we keep coming back. Thank you. Thank you. Now what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, that. Uh, say, I'd like to introduce the performers at Mannheim Steamroller. Over here, the lovely Carly Daniel. And over here, the lovely Jonathan Soboda. And of course, our Mannheim Steamroller Orchestra. Uh, how many of you have gone over to Harry Potter land? Yeah, I thought so. Say, my uh, oldest daughter was over there a year or two ago, and uh, she bought me a magic wand. And she said, hey, Dad, maybe you like to conduct with the wand instead of your baton. <laughs> well, I did, and I cued the French horns, and I turned one of them into a frog. That's why we only have one French horn player now. <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> this next piece is a piece that I arranged for my youngest daughter, Elise Marie Davis. And she, uh, she won the, the video you'll see of her, or what you'll hear, I might mention she's only 14 years old in that video. She's now 22. But she's performed many times on this stage with all of us as well. So I hope you'll enjoy Green Sleeves with my daughter, Elise Davis.
once again, Chip Davis. Thank you. Well, we let it snow. <laughs> uh, where I live in Omaha, Nebraska, we just got about six inches of snow yesterday, so <clears throat> this, um, this is a lot of snow compared to that. <laughs> anyway, uh, they wanted me to tell you the story of how this whole concert got started 14 years ago. Oh my gosh. And uh, before I do that, I have a couple people I really want to thank. I, I want to thank the president of Universal, Bill Davis, for standing behind us all this time. Making it all happen. And also, some of the guys on his staff, I know Jim Timon is here tonight, and uh, those these guys have kept this, this steamroller rolling, so big applause for those guys. Okay, so I had to say all that because Jim Timon is gonna say that what I'm about to say next is not true. <laughs> so, I'm out in Oregon on Haystack Rock. Does anybody know where that is? Yeah, okay, cool. Well, I'm out there recording sounds of the sounds of the ocean for some projects I'm working on. And um, I'm out there on Haystack Rock and the tide comes in and of course then now I'm stuck and I can't get back to, uh, to, to the uh, beach. And so my cell phone goes off and it's Jim and he says, uh, hey, uh, would you still be interested in doing the music for the Grinch? And I'm like, oh yeah, are you kidding? And uh, I said, how long do I have? And he said, ooh, nine days. <laughs> nine days? You gotta be kidding me. That's the part where he'll say, that's not true. That's not what I said. <laughs> but anyway, I have the microphone. <laughs> so anyway, I did get whatever it was done in nine days. And uh, here we are doing it 14 years later. And uh, I guess that's probably pretty much all I wanted to tell you about that. So that's that. <laughs> And now, please welcome the talented performers of Universal Orlando's Grinchmas. Christmas. Inside a snowflake, like the one on your sleeve, there happened a story you must see to believe. Way up in the mountains, in the high range of pontoons, was a tiny town of Hooville, the home of the Hoos.
Decorations were being hung by the windows with care, in the hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. Working through the night and all through the day was the decorating committee, led by the lovely Martha May.
got an idea. An awful idea. The Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. The Grinch laughed in his throat. And he made a quick Santa Claus hat and a coat. And he chuckled and clucked. What a great Grinchy trick. With this coat and this hat, I'll look just like Saint Nick. did hear a sound rising over the snow. It started in low, then it started to grow. But the sound wasn't sad. Why, this sound sounded merry. And he puzzled and puzzled till his puzzler was sore. Then the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe Christmas, he thought. Does it come from a storm? Maybe Christmas, perhaps. Means a little bit more. And what happened then? Well, in Whoville, they say, that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. And he brought back the toys and the food for the feast. And he, he himself, the Grinch, carved the roast beast. Welcome Christmas, bring your cheer. Cheer to all who's far and near. Christmas Day is always in our grass. So long as we have hands to glass. Christmas Day will always be just so long as we while we stand heart to heart and hand to hand.
Well, there you have it, gang. Mannheim Steamroller. You were here. You saw it just like you were sitting with us. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe consider subscribing and watching some of our other stuff. You know, we are showing all this stuff that other vloggers will not. Like, all this Mannheim Steamroller music will be copyrighted and therefore we uh, can't earn any money on this particular video from YouTube. But you know what, on our channel, we're showing it anyways. So we're showing you stuff other vloggers will not. And I hope you appreciate it, just like you were here and you saw it. With that, where else would you rather be than watching the Mannheim Steamrollers on Tom, Tom A. TV? A. TV. Ha, ha, ha.